My cipher keeps rolling like the stolen bike of an alcoholic hoodlum with no goals in life. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back again with your boy, Mike G. Sir, I'm Leroy. What up, what up? Your boy, Del Cot. Mm. Yes, sir. And today on Loud Talk TV, we got my man. You yeah. did. Blue Casey, BSOP, Trump Lord. What sir. it is? What you know sir. about that? Hey. What it is, huh? Yeah. How y'all doing today, man? Yes, I'm glad we was able to slide Good. through, make hey, this shit happen, today, man. Oh, y'all yes, already know, man. Yes, I've been sir. watching the move. I, I support my black people doing this shit, so, you know, hey. I definitely had to slide through for us with y'all on the one time. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Who is already hot this morning? <laughs> Y'all gonna check it out, man. We gonna definitely pick uh, blue uh, brain today, man. Yes, I'm sir. choking off the weed without trying to choke it for you. We definitely finna pick my man blue brain today, though, man. We gonna get into some good shit. We gonna get into some other shit, man. But you know we gonna get the real shit, man. What's going on, though, Blue? Let's start off with letting these people know, man. First man, and foremost, I'm Blue, gonna, hey, it's, it's, the, it's the man, the myth, and the legend, Blue Casey, uh, Charles Florin, entrepreneur, rapper, singer, songwriter, producer, activist, revolutionary, uh, art, aspiring Arthur, actor. Uh, did I miss something? <laughs> <laughs> it's hustler, too much. hustler, hustler right. entrepreneur, <laughs> shit. You know, we, we do it all. Mentor. You know, all that shit. Public speaker. Shit. Might run for mayor 10 years from now. I don't oh, fucking man. know. You're <laughs> a right. political <laughs> advocate. <laughs> community <laughs> advocate. Oh. Revolutionary. For, for, for foremost, that's where I got my strikes from. <laughs> you know, so shit. But yeah, other than that, just, you know, black man trying to make it. By any means necessary. You Another did? one in South Bend. Mm -hmm. Another black man oh, in South man. Bend trying to make it, man. That's you got to respect shit. that. It is. That. Real yeah. shit. Yeah. We've been following your movement for a minute, though, man. We've been seeing what you got going on. You got a lot going yes, on. Sir. Yes, sir. That's yes, sir. That's like one of the reasons why you had to be able to do Yes, sir. So you got so much shit going on that I don't know if everybody knows, like, everything hey, that you I do. I don't. You know I don't. Like? I, I don't. I don't. Oh, don't. Oh, I be sure, with, sure. be with the guys. When we be, with, when we be in the studio, we, we usually face our weeds. So I'm like, shit, but I, I like, you know, sharing is caring. For sure. Oh, yeah. Shout man. out my nigga Drago. He put me on that shit. <laughs> 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 oh, God. For sure. Yeah, though, man, but. I definitely want to get into some cool shit with you, man. Mm. So first and foremost, right. let's get some of the important shit out there. Yes, sir. Let's, yes, get sir. Some of the, let's get some of the the bio out the way. You know, is Blue really your real name? My real name. So I'm uh my my, my ancestry is French, uh, Irish, Cherokee, and African. I was tried as an African nigga, still trying to figure that shit out. But I know my uh, <laughs> <laughs> my motherfucker, yeah, you know my, my granny, she was uh born into slavery. Um, she made it with somebody that uh would have French Indian blood in them, and uh, that's what like you know my first name French, my last name Blue Dress is my first name. You know a lot of people don't know how to pronounce it. That's, that Say it again for the right, world. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still, it, it, it's, oh, it, it's Creole Blue Dress. So my whole name mm -hmm. is Blue Dress Leshawn Note Casey. Okay. I was torturing your name, bro, for Blue, a long time. Blue Dress. I was it, it's funny because, like, so when Charles Lauren 2 dropped my next mixtape in the Charles Lauren series, the first song is the mispronunciation of my name, which is Blooders. Okay. In which the first, the opening line on the song is "This here for the little kid with the with the funny name, no Barack Hussein." I had presidential dreams. Hey. You know what I mean? So like, mm -hmm. yeah, we 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 poke fun at it all the time. I also got another line where uh, I said, "When I get rich, I want a black foreign. If you can't pronounce my name, call me Trout Florin." Hmm. So like, yeah, we, okay. we 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 talk about that a lot. Yeah. My name actually could have been Earth Dog. Could have been Earth. Yeah, my my dad, crazy ass man. I'm named after my dad, Bluches. <coughs> you know the streets. They we always just let people say how let let people butcher our name however the fuck they want to or just say right. blue. So the, the you know the hood known as Bluches and uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and like you know, he uh, how the story go when I was born. He said, "Name that little motherfucker Earth Dog." Earth Dog. <laughs> <laughs> he was drunk. You know, my birthday the day before New Year's Eve. So like, okay. pops, pops was drunk and all that shit. And like, I went and did research last year on the name Earth Dog, just on some high shit. And it means creative and talented and, and intellectual and all this extra shit. When I Google the shit, and I'm just like, what the fuck was Pop's song? He, like, he, 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 he didn't right. know that. We just talked about, we, we just thought he dropped me off here. We ain't know nothing about that. 
<laughs> Swear man, to God. Wow, man. So you telling me that your dad was like, fuck that shit. Man. My little nigga. Oh, my mama. Earth dog. Still call me that shit to this day. Yeah. You know what That's I mean? Good. So like, and then, and like, like I grew up in like, you know. <laughs> he still uh, call you that to this day? He did. To this day, when he oh, get drunk, he get Earth dog. He ain't fucking around. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh me, but like you know, I grew up in like a lot of people don't know that I grew up in a musical family. You know what I mean? Like that, like my mom's side, my great granny, I said my great granny, my granny was uh somewhat of a local gospel celebrity. Okay, you know she was part of the gospel starlights. Uh, her brother played the guitar in the groups and all that extra stuff. So like my family got a lot of like musical history yeah. in the city of South Bend. And then you know my dad's side, they was hustlers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what I mean? Playing it simple yeah. for the camera. Yeah. I, I, I kind of either you, in my dad's side, either you gonna be in the church, <coughs> you gonna be in the politics, or you was gonna be in the streets. Hmm. Sure. Growing up, I ended up being exposed to all three. Yeah, you got the best of both worlds. Yeah, my mom, yeah. you know, they they came up in that area, so you know they they hustled and shit. So like, but when I was born, they tried to change they 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 ways, you know what I mean, shit like that. So like, it was shit that like they tried to hide me from, but I was still exposed to. Mm-hmm. And like, so like now that I'm grown, now I try to show that through my music. I think a lot of people realize that uh, he he's an activist. He ain't go to. There's a reason. <laughs> oh, <that's> <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? There's a reason why, like, and if you go listen to the, 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 it's little hints I give. I don't try to expose too much into my music, but it's little hints that you will probably see if you go check out, like, a real nigga salute uh, with me and Stucky on there. Where I talked about, I try to get on with this dope, but the OG said, don't do it. Were you too talented with it? Blue just focus on his music. That wasn't rap. That was real life. For sure. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, I, I, I watched... Shout out Stucky, boy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, 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 yo, yeah, shout out, shout out Big Stuck. Shit. Like, yeah. when I was 15, you know, I linked... I, I was posted up some places I shouldn't have been at for a 15-year-old. And I seen the assembly line go down to them people that was buying that shit. And I'm like, I want to get in. I'm, I want them, I want that cash. I, I know that. Nah, little homie. Sit here, say your little weed. Do what you do. Focus on your music, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? A couple years later, I became an activist. You know? And like... That came for me, like, leaving the city, going to Atlanta, shit like that. And, like, when I linked in with, like, you know, Shouty Low, rest in peace, you know, That's his true. producer uh, linked in. Like, I was able to rap on the phone to Chuck D, and I'm living in a, in black suburbs. You know, you coming from the Damn, block. Chuck D? Yeah, I rap. Right. Yeah, Public enemy Chuck D? Public enemy Chuck D. Chuck D. Hey. Hey. I'm talking about hey. Chuck D. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Knew yeah. what time it was. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, 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 and, and, like, and, like, and, like, and, like, and, like, that happened, like. Knew what time it was, because he hung with Flavor Flavor. Oh, me. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey oh, man, that stupid. shit was funny as hell. Like on my mama, like we we working on it. We still scripting out my uh my cause like you know I'm 23, and I got almost 20 years of experience of recording, performing, and and writing. Music. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, say that one more time. Backtrack, please. Nigga, you're I'm 23, and yeah. I almost I, I've been rapping right now. Currently, it's eight. It's at 18. But at, when I turn 25, I have 20 years worth of music experience. Damn. Recording, yes. performing, choir, um, all that shit. Damn. Like so, like you jumped in the game at an early, early age. Not, like, and that's yeah. just, that's from my count. If you ask my mama, is younger than that. My first words was about it, about it. Shout out to my sister and my brother. You know, my 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 sister. She hung out with like a lot of like like you know rap street niggas. You know what I mean? From the, in the, it's the 90s. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the 90s. Yeah, no, 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 not, this, this, this 95, 96. Oh, okay. It's yeah, it, yeah. 97, so you know, like. Box 70s and gold. You know what I mean? So shout out, so really shout out uh, Cutthroat, Cutthroat ENT. That, them the people that actually, like, put the fruits in the ground with me. Because, like, my sister was real involved. Like, they, they that's family still to this day. Northside shit. Absolutely. So, like, you know, at that time, they were just laying the fruits down and just letting me be in the studio as a youngster. And, like. At the same time, you got other little kid rappers like Bow Wow, Romeo, mm-hmm. and these same type of camps. So, like, our, we already had a platform to run with. Right. And we have a uh, blueprint, I should say, to run with and, 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 and grab off of us. So, you know, they put me in the game. And, like, my first show was at the Century Center. How old were you? Yeah, six, right. six years old. Six. Six years old. Six years old when you performed at the Century Center. Come on, man. Rapping. Rapping. I know, I know opener, and I know hit performing. Yeah, doing, perform- doing it, 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 it was It was a showcase, though, but it was like, I think they had like judges from the Apollo, 
type shit. Motherfuckers was like, it was rounds to the shit. And like, I remember motherfuckers, like, I, I cried like a baby because I ain't make it to the round. I felt like I should have made it too. Yeah. <laughs> I was six like years old. Like that push you though. On me. Because like, that's like, that same year, I had teachers telling me, uh, I had teachers telling me that like, I couldn't be a rapper. But I had a speech impediment. You know what I mean? Like, like I had a real speech impediment growing up type shit. And where like, I stutter, I couldn't say certain letters and shit like that. So, like, I had to rap my way through that shit. And, like, we would ask anybody that know me then. They'd be like, bro, Blue Ass used to be that nigga you stuttering ass, little badass, little north side nigga. Uh, <laughs> used to walk around with the knives. Young as hell used to walk around with knives and shit. Big ass knives and shit. And, like, I grew up to, you know, being a mentor now. You know hey, what man, I mean? Drop a blue heart in the comments. For sure. You already know what blue used to be. <laughs> right, right. Like, Somebody got to remember heart. that shit. Man, I, 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 done di- I, I had a whole diss record on niggas when I was in the third grade. Like, on wax. <laughs> like, <laughs> Lady Resin to tell you. Real man, life shit. I, real life was dissing niggas. <laughs> because we used shit. to have rap battles at school, right? And, like, he let the dude used to, I ain't going to say his name because he know who he is. If they see him, we ain't going to talk about it. We, like, it, the shit used to get real. I, like, when I say, like, I, I joke. When I say I used to be, I used to think I was G Unit, but like niggas used to actually have to set up meetings to squash beef in the third grade with motherfuckers. That's like it was the reasons why I was carrying knives in the third grade. (laughs) Man, bro, even even then, like I remember my on my on my report card, right? I, I I seen an old report card. The teacher said, "Blue has the potential to be a leader, but he tends to hang around with the wrong people." How the fuck do you figure that out in the second grade? Second grade. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, but like back to the Damn, story, you know, man. like we having rap battles and shit. And his friends used to be the judges. We used to like practice the shit out. And shout out my nigga D-Lo. He just dropped a video on my mama. He'll tell y'all Blue not lying, nigga, because he was one of the judges on oh, my man. mama Pablo. Go check his shit out. But no, oh my mama, song, tap in, man. loud talk. You already know we're going to get him on this motherfucker. So look, he he used to be the judge and like two other people. They all used to just, I know I was eating the nigga up. Right, right. <laughs> but they used to say he won. Oh, so, 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 like, so I went home, you know what I mean? Rest in peace, my, my boy Nate. He was in the room. Mm-hmm. I wrote a verse. I wrote a verse on some gangsta ass shit for a young nigga tripping, bruh. Young as fuck tripping. Talking about some north side till I die. Make every nigga cry. If you run up on me, you better ride till you die. Look, don't come to the north side. You get capped in your eye. I know bodyguards waiting to die. Some weird ass shit that a kid shouldn't even be right. I right, smack right. the shit out of my son. If I, if, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? If you ran into your, your younger. You <laughs> what the fuck no, are you nigga. talking about, man? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I go take the rap to school. On the yellow, on the little yellow paper, right? right. My homeboy Slick, Slick, uh, Slick T, he from the block. He reading the paper. I still remember this shit to this day, cause I, y'all gonna know why. He reading the paper. The motherfucker take the paper out the out his hand, and that 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 it's about. He read the paper, and go take that motherfucker straight to the principal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Swear to God. No altercation with the other dude. He, no, he took he that bitch straight to. No, no. no he, he took that bitch straight to the principal. The principal now done got CPS involved. The police involved. I got to go to anger management classes. I can't write raps in school no more. Wow. wow. <laughs> All because wow. you see? Man, but wow. so so because of that, I went to April crib, uh, cutthroat lady resident. I went to her crib and I recorded a female track. And then when she left, I told her husband, hey, bro. Put this beat on real quick. <laughs> this the nigga, bro. The track went hood viral. Like, this before viral was even a thing. Right, right. Motherfucker. So, so, that mean for it to go viral, though, it had to really yeah, have I, some we, work put it, behind we it. Like, had, that yeah. bitch had some leg work yeah, behind yeah, it. Yeah, like. yeah. I, I gave Pablo uh, a cassette. I think I, I gave him. A, I gave him. Oh my I had the Come karaoke on, machine with the hit with the, with the CD player on top of that motherfucker. So I burned the CD to the cassette, and I gave bro the cassette, and I think he probably took it over there to them people. <laughs> Damn. That's what I think. I don't know. Let me know what hey, happened, bro. Right. That shit funny though now though, cause like, you never know, never cause, I, cause how I think about it, the homies had to like. Shit got real. I heard his his brothers. I don't know what happens. Motherfuckers. Rumors came back saying allegedly motherfuckers had a problem with me about the shit and like wanted to see when they see me they was gonna jump on me. Mm. So my little Damn. bad ass was like, I'm gonna keep this big ass <laughs> knife on me. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Young as fuck on some weird, weird ass bad shit. We have to when we set the shit up. I remember motherfuckers. Uh, like we all met up at Fremont Park. And like, like on some real young ass dying shit, like niggas all on different corners of the fucking ba- basketball stadium. All that, I mean, I'm not basketball stadium, but the basketball court on Fremont and shit. And like, 
you know, just funny as fuck looking at it now. Because, like, around that same time, that's when we started, like, Free Mind Entertainment. Right. You know, our record, little record label and shit and, you know, shit like that. Mm-hmm. It's, just, it's just funny to see the shit now. And, like, we just grow up and now I got to go talk to them same kids. Mm-hmm. I go to the bar yeah, and go talk know. to them same kids yeah. and be like, listen, I used to be you. <clears throat> Right. You know what I mean? They can, and they can see it. And they and they can see it and they and they know me already compared to somebody that's 40, 50 and they can't right. relate. Right. 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 You know what I young. mean? Yeah. So so yeah. like so like that's how we yeah. writing the book now. Oh, so you got a book going on? Yeah, we got right. a yeah, yeah, we got a book going on right now uh called Transformation. How did that come about, mm-hmm. man? How did, how, did, how did the book come about? Um, a lot of people don't know. Also, around that time, I was uh doing like creative writing. Mm-hmm. In the second, third grade, and because of that situation, they took me out of the creating writing workshops wow. that I used to be at LaSalle. And like, oh yeah, the teacher started talking to the nigga after that. Like, like a lot of people think mm-hmm. like, like around that time when students used to read motherfucking books on about like fucking Johnny B. Jones and Captain America. I was right. reading the autobiography of Malcolm X. I was reading mm-hmm. Martin Luther King books and the Encyclopedia of Black History. Like, that's just something I always just been known as a kid. You gravitated to it. You feel what yeah. I'm saying? So what made me even gravitate harder <laughs> is when I started Pop. You know what I mean? Tupac, one of his shit was, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm not saying I changed the world, but I guarantee I sparked the mind that will. Thought he was talking about me. Iconic You feel what you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So so that's so that's what I gravitated to around that end. And just like, you know, as a writer, you know, just one just like explain my life. I think it's just just working on this documentary and as I'm scripting it out, I'm like, we can do this as a book. Mm-hmm. And I thought about this early on <laughs> as I was scripting the documentary out and with my life as like and I started just writing everything out and just, just thinking about everything. Like, if we took this into a book, first of all, I'd be better than music. Because when music is so political now, Excuse because me. of streaming, me. you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That we got to go through uh, motherfucking, um, like, fucking YouTube, Facebook, fucking all that monetization, all that mm-hmm. extra you shit. Are. Then you got to pay the producer. You got to do all this extra shit. To get a you. book? You feel what I'm saying? All it is, if you self-publish... Mm-hmm. That's more money for you. You just gotta push it. For sure. True, indeed. I don't think I don't, I don't think enough people know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pay game on that, yeah. so like. That's commendable, man. For sure. So, so that's all we, we we really just trying to lay that out right now. But at the same time, it's just like, especially when we getting shot and everything, it was just like, start taking this shit for granted. You know, for sure. like, you know. Uh, with that, since you're talking about it, yeah. Right, you you want to touch on that? We we can <laughs> touch on it slightly. We we talk on that later. We can talk on that later. Okay. We can talk on that later. But yeah. now, like like when me like coming <clears throat> back from Atlanta and everything, <clears throat> like you know, with the I, like niggas really was like this close to getting signed. You feel what I'm saying? And like I'm really <clears throat> like, at, what year was this? This 2013. I was 17. Like a lot of people don't know. I I got dropped off in Atlanta. Like, that wasn't nothing planned. Like, <clears throat> I dropped out my junior year of high school for that. And, like, you know, I linked in with my family that was connected. You know, they was out here and they had to leave. So, like, I was linked in with the people that was connected down there and made shit crack off. Mm-hmm. And, like, when I got down there, like, the night I was down there, I was doing shows. Hmm. Like, so, you was you know, actually connecting with the right people. Oh yeah. Sure. oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's how I ended up in Shotty Low and in Shotty Low Crib with with his producer. I'm I, I'm literally like recording my demo for three days in Shotty Low Basement before I finally met him. Man. You feel you know, for me, rest in peace to Big Dog and yeah, like. Shotty Low, man. I used to ride the bike to Chuck D Brother House from Riverdale to College Park like every other day. Type yeah. shit, you know, and like like that's the studio where you know I went downstairs and like. The, like how we how we set up down here on the walls inside of the walls is all classic like fucking album albums you know what I mean yeah. or like hip hop classics like I'm talking about rappers delight mm-hmm. you feel what I'm saying with the real, real class, shit first. you feel what I'm real saying rappers, real you, feel, class, you, you, yeah. you you hold that and then go upstairs and record something that means different to you yeah, you sure. feel what I'm saying <laughs> so like so like rapping the Chuck I did presence of greatness which is like one of my most iconic pieces. That was the first piece I ever got paid for. Things like that. Okay. And I get the rap presence of greatness for him on the phone in Africa. Like I was more trying not to be starstruck. He, he was he was in yeah, South he was yeah. in South Africa. Chuck Z was calling you. Yeah, he was he was calling his brother. Like literally, like it's it's 
I don't even talk on this too much because I know because if I tell the t t tell the details of how things going on, niggas gonna be like he cap. Are you keeping it? We we I'm gonna tell the details. I'm gonna tell the truth. I'm gonna tell the truth. <laughs> so so yeah. it, it, we I'm, we make a phone call, niggas. And act like it, it, niggas cap over here. I pull receipts out. <laughs> <laughs> niggas right. niggas was on so so the OGs in the room. How we in the room? I'm probably the youngest in the room right now. 23, right? Mm -hmm. So how I'm the youngest in the room and the youngest in the room of hip hop. Pioneers that's like behind the scenes. Right. One of the niggas used to be the DJ for our, for Run DMC before Jam Master J was. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. So I'm in the room, these niggas talking about hip hop, and I'm able to keep up. One thing my brother told me was, you can't call yourself a rapper if you don't know hip hop history. Yeah. Then gave me yeah. an encyclopedia of hip hop history okay. from Vibe magazine. Read that shit, kept that shit all my life till it crumbled up. <laughs> so yeah. like, so I'm able to keep up in conversation with these dudes, and they like, who the fuck is this nigga? <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? But more and intrigued by the fact that you can keep up. Right. Exactly. So so we start conversations, and motherfuckers like, man, yeah, he rap, and like spit that shit, then young blood. Yeah, that's what that's what's gonna make motherfucker really wanna hear you after they see that you know your facts on some rap shit. What you talking about? Right. So yeah, once yeah, I spit that, that shit, shit <laughs> so as I'm spitting this shit, unbeknownst to me, I'm not realizing they supposed to be at the so so death anniversary party and concert in Atlanta. Here we all we all, we all, we all time listening to you though. Exactly. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And like we would have went, but my people were like, Man, we ain't got enough money. I I just want you to link in with them all that extra shit. We gonna let them ball out. But, like, on the guys, though, like, man, the, the next night I'm over there, like, living like, <sighs> man, I don't even want to go I got it, bro, bro, on my mama, I ain't going to say I got a song. I rapped on the beat. Rest in peace. Ooh, I don't even want to say it. I rapped on the beat that had Unfinished Nate Dog. It was basically an Unfinished Nate Dog song. But, so, what? so, if Whoa. you do... Do the research on this if niggas want to. Like I said, I pull receipts out. We just had a, we just had a Tupac movie that, could, that just came out, right? right? All eyes on me. It was about three, four different Tupac movies that <clears> was being worked on. Uh -huh. It's another movie that was called The Seven Day Theory by Tupac's uh, director named Gog. Okay. He the one that worked on the How Do You Want It video. His soundtrack was being made, and the and one of the engineers for Public Enemy at the time was going to be the producer for it. Mm. He was mentoring me, and he said he, he just came from Cali. Nate had just died probably a year or two ago. Mm -hmm. And he said this is one of the last songs that he worked on with Nate Dog before he went to the hospital. And he only did the first verse and the chorus, and I had the last two verses on it. Sadly, that bridge got burnt. Yeah, there's a lot of politics behind this music shit. It's, it's, it's shit that can't <laughs> you feel, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, at least you made the right. Feet, man. The bridge got burned. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sadly, that, that bridge but, got burnt. But, like, you know, we, I was young, 17. You feel what I'm saying? And, like, you know, it, it was just a lot going on. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I want to turn up. All respect to Chuck. I love, I love PE. I love, you know what I mean? And like, all respect. And like, I ain't never really had a connection with Chuck. It was more the respect from like the people that wanted to introduce me to Chuck. Right. They want, they wanted they to, you. they wanted to groom me to take me to Chuck so I can be the next person to push this shit. You feel what I'm saying? And like, I make conscious music, but like, I wanted to do my own shit. I wanted right. to turn up. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm in Atlanta, future all on the radio. So like, so like, I was, I was, you know, still, still confused. But when I came back home, the city loved me. I don't know what happened. I do actually know what happened. Uh, but social media, so, social media, motherfucker, social media, motherfucker. They show love from the city. Oh yeah, and then you brought it back here. Yeah. It was, it was on. It was yeah, like on. I came back twice. I came back once for uh, for my uncle funeral. And I came back again for uh for like this the summertime type shit. And like the love I was getting when I was here, motherfuckers was throwing niggas parties. I'm seeing motherfuckers running red lights trying to say what's up to me. All types of crazy shit. And like it showed me I had a platform that I need to do something positive. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. I need to do something yeah. good, good with it. So when like, you know, the situation with how I ended up with Low Crib was we was working on my demo because A and R heard my shit from his producer. And wanted to work with me. And I was, that's where the bridge got burnt at. Because I wanted to go that way. 
Because I felt like I had more freedom. Right. But these people actually didn't. But what I fucked up at was you and structure you into something. Exactly. You exactly. exactly. And over here, you was able to talk about guns, money, pussy. Oh, exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. But the fucked up part was people mm -hmm. over here wanted a buzz. They wanted me to have that internet, Instagram, mm -hmm. buzz, following YouTube. Is he viral? What he's doing? Is people talking about him? Where right. people that was in under public enemy camp was like, we actually want to groom you and work with you and, and, and connect you with people so that you can actually build in this industry right. instead of right. actually trying to hustle your way into this shit. For sure. Right. That was the, they was the first people that when we met at the table, my family and like I ain't gonna flex. My so, paperwork wasn't completely correct either. So do you feel do you feel bad that you fucked that bridge up? No, I mean, as far as like I I, I feel like in the long run, is God gonna make everything come come along, and they're gonna be like, damn, we had you know what I mean? You 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 found your way in this day so, in this game, young son. So if yeah. you could take it back, you tell me right now that you wouldn't take it back. Man, no, no second chances. No, oh man, I def I definitely would have stayed underneath <laughs> public enemy. I definitely would have stayed under PE. I got like it like if you go into my videos right now, you'll see me and uh Chuck D's brother studio and they got we showing all the, the pictures with him and Flav and the Grammy and then the, the plaques on the walls and yeah. all that extra shit. But like you I'm was I, really that close. Oh yeah, right, oh yeah, right, right. yeah, yeah. I'm 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 running through it's my little through my song. You feel what I'm saying? Like oh you, I, I I we ran through Shotty Low Crib with one of them too. Like like it's I seen the plaque for uh LO. But they know all that. <laughs> that's what's all that shit. shit like that should motivate you, and that should be like inspiring. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Because it took a moment like that to make you realize, like, oh yeah, it's on now. Like uh, I mean, had... you doing your own independent stuff mm -hmm. and, and going back. But to that, but it, but it broke me down though, because like coming home, <clears throat> like I rode that Greyhound home. Me and my people, you know, we 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 had misunderstanding politics. You know, politics of this game make shit clash, and when it clash. You gotta go back to the drawing board, mm -hmm. and like you know, it's all love on the table with you know with family. Yeah. At the end of the day, we just did it wrong. So like, <laughs> like everybody like, why you still here? And you no, know, it's just shit. We we wanna make sure shit right before we go back down there and try to do this shit again. Absolutely. But like coming back home, I had to ride that Greyhound, and like that shit hit me. That shit fucked with me hearing my shit back, and like I, I ain't gonna lie, I cried tears in my mama lap about this shit. Like that, like if there's anything that like niggas wish they wouldn't have did, mm -hmm. I wish I wouldn't have came back after the label came, after the A&R came back and said, do we have his buzz or go work on the buzz? I found out some shit about my paperwork that wasn't that I wasn't feeling. You know, I ain't gonna go too much on on, on that. Right. Yeah, that's, that's blood. But besides that, like I just realized how the game was working and how my position was in the game that I, I wasn't going to eat the way that I'm supposed to eat as an artist when shit get broken down. So like, that's why I really came back home because I was just upset with the entire situation at hand, period. But I wish I hadn't got in my feelings so hard that I that I left, that I probably should have just went harder and, and, and grind that shit out. And like, you know, my, you know we just had a, a, a elder in my family pass away. And one of my cousins that was down there you know, this is right after I got shot. And so, like, my cousin that was down there was like, see, you done down there wasted six years being back home. And, and you done almost died. You done almost died down this shit. You, you could have, like, no lie. I'm with the Charlie Lowe producer. What's, what, what, was young, what was Young Thug screaming on Amazon? I feel like Fable. I feel like Fable. You go look under my, under my video, Young Blue Road to Riches, in the description, it say D4L Artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, I literally could have had a song with Thug, but <laughs> it's funny. When the, when the producer showed me him him and Low song, this nigga had a fucking trench, top, trench coat on, black boots. And I'm like, I can't do no song with this nigga. He's like, where this fuck? I'm from the north side, so man. <laughs> so you tell me you had the opportunity? I have on, 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 on the north side, GD on, live on none of that shit. I had an opportunity to do a song with Thug, but I didn't want to do it because he looked weird. But around this time, but too, but this was this, this yeah. around this yeah. around this. this, this he, he, he wasn't on. Right, he, he wasn't even, even on. He wasn't even on. Right, right. He wasn't even on. He a regular ass nigga. And I'm like, I don't know this. He, he just showed me him after showing like young uh not young Thug, but um ain't not ain't not young young LA. He just showed it. He just showed me and shot. He showed him and Shotty Low in the video, and he showed him and young he showed him and young Thug in the video. 
Shotty Low in the video, and I'm just like, man. Nah, nah, one time did you think, though, if Low did a video with this nigga, I need to Because I'm in Atlanta, so I'm, 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 I'm I ain't gonna yeah, lie, I'm yeah. kind of cocky. You I was kind of, at 17. You was in your own lane. Bro, you couldn't yeah. tell me shit, bro. I'm like, man, yeah, lane. you feel yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? And, like, I'm like, man, these niggas, man. these niggas look weird. I can't, and, like, all respect the thug. I fuck with his music heavy now. You know what right. I mean? But then that next but, summer, I'm up here, and we, we vibing, and I'm a stoner. I'm a, 